Sheboygan Veterans Memorial Anniversary observ Observance announced, one hospitalized after motorcycle crash in Sheboygan, summer blood shortage continues in Sheboygan County. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for August 14th, 2019. For 25 years in the Sheboygan County Veterans Memorial has been a landmark seen by many thousands arriving on Highway 23. The memorial honors over 900 Sheboygan County veterans who have given the ultimate sacrifice and hundreds more that have helped serve around the world. You can help celebrate that quarter century of an honor August 23rd through August 25th both at the memorial itself and at the Sheboygan County Historical Museum next door. Features include a restored Vietnam era Huey helicopter that you can even get a ride for a fee, a recognition program at one o'clock on Saturday, and a war World War I exhibits that at the museum include a traveling exhibit from the Wisconsin Veterans Museum. More information is available at svcmemorial.org. A motorcycle crash in Sheboygan left at least one person hospitalized Tuesday night. It happened around 6 o'clock p.m. near the YMCA at Broughton Drive and Wisconsin Avenue. Sheboygan police say the motorcycle was rear-ended by a car causing the motorcycle to lose control. Police aren't sure of the extent of the injuries involved, only that they're non-life-threatening and that the people in the car were not injured. The crash remains under investigation. Sheboygan County law enforcement agencies are joining a statewide effort to curb impaired driving. The Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over campaign runs this Friday through Labor Day weekend. According to Sheriff Corey Rossler, the effort is designed to be highly visible in order to discourage motorists from engaging in dangerous driving behaviors. <clears throat> Although alcohol is best known substance, other both illegal and legal are part of a growing problem of impaired drivers. To combat the problem, nearly five thousand Wisconsin police officers received specialized training and 301 highly trained drug recognition experts among the most in the nation were added. If you don't remain sober you can still keep yourself and others safe with the free Drive Sober mobile app in the Wisconsin DOT. Search Zero in Wisconsin to get the app that offers a ride finding service when you need one. Eric Clark Geisen will be in court today on child porn charges. Geisen is a Sheboygan man facing 25 counts of possession of child pornography. According to the court documents, the 60-year-old Geisen has been accused of possessing sexually explicit photographs of children and each count carries up to maximum sentence of up to 25 years in prison and $100,000 in fines. He was charged last week in the case that was investigated by the Sheboygan Police Department. Geisen's bail has been set at $150,000. An expected shortage of summer blood donors has the American Red Cross sounding a call for you to donate. Back to school preparations and late summer vacations are blamed for blood and platelet donations falling behind demands, and more donations are urgently needed to replenish supplies in preparation for any emergencies that arise. With the help of a generous $1 million donation from Amazon, the Red Cross is thanking those to help come overcome the shortage by coming to give now through August 29th with a $5 Amazon.com gift card via email. The Red Cross has details on their website. 
For each of the next five Fridays, there will be blood drive from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Sheboygan Trades and Labor Hall, 1104 Wisconsin Avenue in Sheboygan. And finally, a Wisconsin-based food ordering and delivery company will soon be serving Sheboygan and bringing in some new jobs. Eat Street will allow delivery orders to be placed online and through its mobile app. Included will be national restaurants like Buffalo Wild Wings, Noodles and & Company, and Big Apple Bagels, with local favorites like El Camino, Bourbon Street Pub and & Grill, and La Conquistadora, a full list can be found at eatstreet.com. Company officials say the new service is expected to create 20 delivery dro driver jobs in Sheboygan. Eat Street is a Madison-based delivery company that was started back three college students back in 2010 and is now serving over 250 cities nationwide. According to the company officials, as a special, special gift for the launch in Sheboygan, Eat Street is offering 30 days of free delivery. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Friday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.